As you get out of the Twin Cities, you can really see how much the wind is whipping. Reg Chapman spent the day in Litchfield. That's where he joins us now. Hi, Reg. Well, hey, John, heading west on Highway 12 this morning with photojournalist Tony Peterson and I did not see any parts of this winter storm until we got to the town of Montrose. And the further west we traveled, the more snow we saw. Now, this blowing snow, the heavy snow flakes with the wind actually made for poor visibility. And that blowing snow actually made for a not-so-friendly game of hide-and-seek with the yellow line that divides the highway. Now, when we got to the town of Litchfield, the first thing we noticed is just how cold it had gotten. The temperature dropped dramatically and the wind was blowing sideways. Plows did all they could to keep the roads and sidewalks clear, but that blowing snow made their jobs nearly impossible. The weather did not stop lifelong Litchfield residents from going about their daily activities. People we spoke with say it's Minnesota. It's January, and if you live here, you have to roll with what Mother Nature gives you. I like to shovel. I like to ski. I think this is where the peace and quiet is, you know? It's so serene. What's the best part of it all? That'll go away in about April. <laughs> yeah, it's nice for, you know, I like it and this is winter, but it needs to go to. I like all four seasons. Now, many businesses in downtown Litchfield did close early today because of the snowstorm. But what we did see is neighbor helping neighbor, a lot of people helping shoveling and getting snow and ice off of cars. They say this type of snowstorm, John, actually brings the community closer together. All right. <laughs> Making the most of it. Thank you, Reg.